Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to be installing a Bit Zero. I got this off of Etsy from Dash Made Woodworking. He is in Shirts, Texas. In case you're curious about why you need something like this, let me tell you. I had a Shapoko Pro uh, XXL before I got this Onefinity, and it came with a bit setter. And I had never had one before. My previous CNC was an X car, didn't have this. You had to re zero the bit after each tool change. But man, once I got that Shapoko and found out how cool and handy the what they call the bit setter is, it's kind of like color TV. Once you've had one, you ain't going back to black and white. And running a CNC without one of these is like, watching a black and white TV. It can be done so much better. So this is a game changer if you've never had one. Uh, anyway, this is, uh, like I said, gonna hook to my Masso controller. Looks to be straightforward according to the instructions and we're fixing to find out for ourselves. So let's see how it goes. All right, the first step is to determine where you wanna put it and uh, the model I got mounts to the QCW wasteboard. I'm going to remove this screw. I've already kind of marked off where I'm going to have to cut out a section of this MDF so that this can mount there. Because it, yeah, that has to be removed so this can hug, hug up against that uh, pipe there. So we're going to do that first. Bolt out of there. Five millimeter bolt. And that joker is long winded too. I forgot about that. All right, now. I'm going to put some tape under here to maybe help keep from scratching this up. Brand new, I don't want to. You know how it is, but try not to get the first scratch. We'll see how much luck I have with this, but let's see how it goes. Is there anything worse than MDF dust? The answer is no. Oh man, I scratched my pipe anyway. Ain't nothing a black Sharpie won't fix. Just long-winded screw back in there. I don't know if long-winded is a southern expression or not, but that's what my dad always called screws that just took forever to get them in and out. Threads go on forever. He always called that long-winded. So see, now you done learned something while you're watching this. Now this is the connector end for the bit zero. Just a little two prong thing. And it goes right there where that says tool setter on the back of your masso. See if I can click it in there and film at the same time. Being left handed, yes, I can do that. Well, that was simple enough. All right, the next step is to center the gear bit. The instruction said to put a quarter inch end mill in there. So that's what I did. That is a downtown Jenny bit 
from Cadence Manufacturing, Mesa, Arizona. A buddy of mine, Cody Elkins, make those. They are awesome bits, let me tell you. So it's centered up there. Now the next step is to stand here. We gotta write down these numbers right here. The X, Y, and the Z. Especially the X and the Y. But yeah. We're gonna need those later. Okay, now we gotta set it up in the Masso controller. We've already written down the X and Y numbers from the previous step. Now we go to F1 setup and we're gonna scroll down the list, the center column to tool center. And yours will probably say high just like mine does there. In order to change that, it has to be on low. You just, with it highlighted, tap on the space bar and that magically changes to low. That's all you need to do with that. And then you go over here to auto tool settings, double tap that. I did go ahead and type in the numbers so it wouldn't take so long on the video, but you gotta enable the tool zero and enable the X and the Y. Everything else is set up down here per the instructions that came with the tool setter. Uh, Z safe distance to tool setters minus one inch tool zero feed rate, 30 inches per minute. So all we do, do is save that. Now we can go to tools and offsets. Let's just pick a quarter inch bit. All right. And then we're gonna test our setter. Make sure we got everything set right. All you gotta do with the your bit in there. Auto tool zero. Ooh, look at it go. And that is how you do it. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna test the homing feature. It should home, then immediately go to the bit setter and take that measurement. So let's see. Yay. All right, I hope I was able to help somebody out there. Uh, this isn't a difficult thing to do. Uh, follow the instructions, and it really is just as easy as it looked in this video. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, comments, be sure and leave them below. I'll answer them every time. Uh, may take me a minute, but I will get back to you. Uh, if you're interested in getting this particular tool setter that I have, uh, just look up Steve Dash, his Etsy page is called Dash Made Woodworking. I'll have a link below to make it easy for you. Uh, and if you don't mind, leave me a like and a subscribe. I'd sure appreciate it. I need them. Thanks.